think. Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? So, Rose, help me out. How do you think we know each other? We all know each other around here. It's been a while, but I never forget a face. Or a coffee order. Guess I just have one of those faces. Seen anything out of the ordinary in town lately? Suspicious people in deer masks? No one's suspicious. But soon enough, there will be lots of happy people wearing deer masks for Deerfest. Practically everyone will be wearing one. Good to know. Take it easy. This is exactly why I hate small towns. Keep it down, Ed. Never touch these rooms. All set? My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D back in the day. The wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff. Looks like you have some guests. Ah, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. She always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs, ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. 
Lead the way, Sheriff. Oh, well, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need, just uh, let us know. I'll be right with you, sir. Yep, yep. Just here to they pay lock my ticket. up an innocent man. Whenever you're ready to take my money. I swear I didn't do anything. They're a lying bunch of bastards. You believe me, right? I can't get through this. Here, I see. Sir, some patience, please. Agent? that I'm lost in the woods. It only had a tour guide also. It's bear season. Oh no, a bear. Help. Did somebody call for a tour guide? Oh wow, Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours. Unforgettable tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right. I'm Ilmo Koskala, both its best coffee roaster slash tour guide by coffee So we share magazine. a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. Tour of the I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only corner rotates between the fifth town and the fifth town. That is true, young. Many local attractions have recently become fenced off by the government. And that's why at Koskala Brothers, Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. Okay. Let's take a look at our patient. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. What was the cause of death? What the body shows signs of being submerged in water post-mortem. It doesn't add up. This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Defensive wounds. He put up a fight. Aha. Uh -huh. They did leave something inside his chest. There's writing on here. Can't make it out. Writing? How'd they manage that? Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. Text is smudged. Looks inverted. Heart can't have been marked before removal. Oh, 
there's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? Same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was. Killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. No, 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 wait. Sheriff? What? Get into the light. Now. But he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared? What the hell is... A dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future. There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve.
Hmm. Doesn't look right. There's no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the Sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious. Like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. There's one. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale, into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. The autopsy room was a mess, like a bomb had gone off. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her under the light, lurched past her. The Taken could not see into bright light. The light hurt them, hurt the darkness in them, made them vulnerable. I flick the switch, it goes click. Show me the clicker, lights are off, but some...